What is going on guys? Fightful Host back again coming at you with a PvP video sponsored by your friendly neighborhood orb dealer. <laughs> uh, yeah, if y'all are interested in discount orbs, feel free to check out uh, the links below. Uh, I have all the information in my Discord and uh, yeah, just check it out. So uh, let's get into the stats of these babies. Uh, they're pretty uh, they're pretty impressive. So let's uh, let's get right into it, shall we? Now, we don't have a gold chappy on Yoruichi, but we do have everything else. Um, all right. So 110% spiritual pressure for Orihime. Unfortunately, her um, her strong attacks aren't as fast as I'd like them to be, especially against Toshiro. So we're going to be mainly aiming for Noitores when it comes to her. Uh, for Soy Funds, we're not going to be aiming for any um, full bring Ichigos because full bring Ichigos activation times are way too fast, to be honest. So for the links, we do have the best strong attack damage links in the game. Uh, Shunsui, Sun Sun, and Anniversary Ichigo. Uh, not necessarily in that order. <laughs> uh, Shunsui, Stark, the new Stark and the uh, tag team Jushiro as the Nad links for Goroichi. So she has, what is that? 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, plus her bruiser of like 40%. So like 140% Nad if I actually did my math properly. Stamina 40, stamina 40, and then a four star Chappy. Like I said, um, he did try to do, he did, <laughs> he did do like 4,000 orbs on the accessory gotcha trying to pull a, a purple gold Chappy, but wasn't able to do so. But I mean, it is what it is. So, um, Good enough, right? Actually, not good enough. Let's uh, let, 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 let's put a gold chappy on her, anyways. Uh, let's put a stamina on her. That way, she survives even longer. Stamina twenty percent. That way, she survives longer. All right, so we're back. So we changed it up to um, a green gold chappy with twenty percent stamina. That way, it's. 38% stamina and 18% to the rest of her stats minus her spiritual pressure, of course. Uh, we're gonna keep her focused because she does have, uh, she doesn't have really high focus, but hey, you might as well keep the crits, right? All right, so stamina 40, stamina 40, and uh, let's see. Yeah, increase normal attack damage 130%. Is that 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 40% breather 130, okay. I did my math completely wrong. Debilitator five seconds. So she does. She does have paralysis on all of her t attacks, which is actually pretty cool. I'm not sure if she has it on her nad string, but uh, yeah, so we're, we're definitely gonna start peeping into that. All right, and uh, Soifan. Spiritual pressure 30, 30, 30 across the board. Strong attack damage 25, 20, 20. Uh, level 200. So she does have an additional. 1158 spiritual pressure so she is sporting let's see how much spiritual pressure we have on these babies anyways all right or with 1974 spiritual pressure and a soy phone with 1895 spiritual pressure absolutely insane like that's more spiritual pressure than my toshiro holy hell <laughs> i yeah that's more yeah that's more than my toshiro i think jeez and uh your with 1546 keep in mind she has an off color gr uh, gold chappy so there's that to take into account. And uh, yeah, let's get into this PvP video, shall we? We're gonna hunt down every single Sajin we see. We're gonna hunt down every single Arankar we see as well. Any Arankar I think would uh, be at a disadvantage to this team. We're gonna do 20 PvP tickets this time around and uh, see what's up. We're gonna be doing this in captain rank. So we're probably gonna lose a lot actually now that I think about it. Hmm. Mika, I hope you don't hate me for this. <laughs> so uh, let's... Uh, Let's see what the hell's up. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me not do that for PvP. Attack, attack, strat, attack, strat. Um, all right, you know what? We're, we'll start attacking these uh, full bring Ichigos and see how it goes. This, this, Since this is Captain's League, I'm pretty sure that most of these PvP teams are actually going to be quite stacked. Um, yeah, so there's nothing else to it but to do it, you know? All right, Tsukishima versus Yoruichi. And Yorichi versus our Orihime. Let's get it. Boom. Flashmaster Yorichi. Fear is not a factor for you. And it looks like we're, we're going to tear into that Tsukishima as well. Alright, Orihime putting in work. And Soifon too. Soifon actually put in some work there too. Alright, let's... Uh... You know what? Let's let's hunt these full bring Ichigos, man. Let, let's do it. If uh, Soifon keeps it up, that might actually be quite good for us. All right, Yorichi versus Yorichi. Oh no, Orihime versus Kempachi. That's not going to be good. Kempachi on their team, it can usually spell a lot of trouble. Oh, oh our Soifon destroyed that Ichigo. 
and with the range of Soifon keeping, uh, keeping away. <laughs> My bad. I had to, I had to throw in that special, man. I had to throw in that special. But damn, yo, so, so Soifon putting in work. I'm actually quite impressed with Soifon more than uh, more than the others. Orihime has a really slow activation time. Not really slow. Her issue is that she's slower than Toshiro, and that makes her a liability, especially when she comes into that matchup. Um, I'm not sure how she'll match up with Toshiro if they're on the sidelines. When on the sidelines, Toshiro does have to move up forward to do his third strong attack. Otherwise, he um, he can stagnate. If he's in the first slot. Um, he does have the range to start attacking. Like, if you notice, like, Soifon and Ichigo are closer than Sajin and Yorichi. Oh, Sajin versus Yorichi, I'm interested in that. Now, Ichigo was putting in business, though, already, so that's not gonna be good. But it looks like we destroyed. Anyways, yo, GG. Oh, Sajin bending over for Yorichi. The pegging action is real! Alright, let me st let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. Alright. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, oh, Kuna BBS, let's do Kuna, all right, yo, Kuna, we're coming for you, bro, all right, y'all get mad at me when I don't come to Captain, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, uh, Mikal, and M Mikal's gonna get, get, uh, justice for me in his stead, in my stead, or Hime versus Sajin, oh, this is, this does not look good for me, or Hime with the boost, Oh no, Kuna, please. Oh damn, here comes Sajin. Now his range is insane. R.I.P. Okay, good job, Kuna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find you. And I'm gonna switch where Sajin and your Reacher place to watch. All right, so let's uh, go to Ray Korgon. Actually, you know what, let's, let, let's start hunting people down. Let's see if we can find people that I know. That'd be good. Comandante Galen. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let, let's send uh, Orihime against them so you can see like the activation times. This is the matchup that I'm really interested in. Tor uh, Toshiro's activation times are inc incredibly fast, like incredibly fast. And in the first slot, he's fa even faster because like he can just knock off his third as soon as the match starts, and that could cause a lot of problems, especially because. One of my characters, one of my characters, or their character get frozen. Um, their characters is what well, I mean, like when I'm using Toshiro, you know what I mean. But uh, Toshiro is a very incredibly powerful unit, especially in PvP. Noitora, okay, so he has Noitora and Toshiro in the same team. Hmm. I'm gonna pretend that I know that I that I saw what happened. I don't even know. GG. <laughs> G G G. All right, clear all of the orders. Oh, Draga, you're in Captain's League, bro. Yo, let me find out. All right, let's uh, let's send your Weechi to that. Maybe we can catch uh, one of his. Maybe he has Toshiro. I know you. No, Draga, you. I know you got some good stuff. Well, I mean, you're in captains, like that's that comes without question. Oh, tag team Koga. Oh, I'm so screwed. Oh my god. Well, there goes Sa Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Damn, your Soifon took care. Oh man. I'm done. That was that was OP. Alright, we have Koga. I mean we have Kuna again. Alright, so this time I'm gonna switch up Orihime and Yorichi because we already know that Sajin is on his third one. 
Let's uh, let me set that up right quick. Soifun towards his full bring Yorichi versus his Sajin and Orihime versus um, whichever other unit was there. Oh, oops, I clicked edit. Blooper reel. All right. Make sure that that's right. And the attack strat. Let's let's go for Kuno once again. Oh man. All right. So we got Orihime. I like how they they put like all the old characters in like little icons. That's pretty cool. I don't think they did that for swimsuits. All right. So Orihime versus Blue Kampachi. Full bring Ichigo. Put in work though. I am interested in Kuna's team. I'm gonna ask him what his team is. Yeah, his team is really good. <laughs> I want that. I want that Sajin. Oh, damn. All right. So with my uh, dignity in hand, we're not fighting Kuna no more. I think uh, he taught me a valuable lesson. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's send. Uh, Soifon back again to the four, full bring Ichigo. Now that full bring Ichigo of Kuna is actually went off faster than my Soifon if I remember correctly. And like we were already at half health with like most of our party at the time. Like almost like immediately. Alright so Shunsui's there. Orihime versus Tag Team Ichigo. That's interesting. You see Tag Team Ichigo actually went first. But we're buffed from uh, Soifon so that's good. What's good is that Soifon's buff actually has really good range on it, like surprisingly good range. Not to mention it has enhancers, so like you're as long if she uses her buff like from the start of the match, you're probably gonna have that buff for the rest of the match, especially because she has frenzy. So not only does she deal massive amounts of damage since her strong attack isn't useless, but you're actually effectively increasing the damage potential of the rest of your strong attack damage characters. So she actually seems like she's gonna be a very good PvP unit. Um, unfortunately, she's still slower than the Gin full bring Ichigo combo. Now, that combo is incredibly deadly. <laughs> All right. Like I'm busy like touting how good she is, and then I get like smacked. All right. Let's see Koga. Let's try against Koga. Yeah, I see you, Kuna. We're not going for you though. You, you you've had enough spotlight for today. <laughs> oh man, or your Orihime look it look looks so good though. Like I can't wait to actually like fully play test with her. Like as of right now, I've only been playing with her in uh, PvP. But with strong attack recharge time, she looks like she's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so we like pretty much oh, like ultra instinct this entire team like damn, get wrecked. Alright. Hmm. Should I you know what? Let's try to go against a Toshiro. I, like, like I said, like Toshiro's tend to be faster than Orihime, unfortunately. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Alright. Yoruichi versus Biaki, now that's interesting. Oh, but Soyphone versus Apache. GG Apache. We have K advantage, GG. And with the range of Soifon, she looks like she's going to be putting in work. There you go. Nice, 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 nice. Excellent. I'm liking this PvP team, actually. Like, I mean... Nah, you, know, you know, I was going to say something negative, but at the same time, we're in Captain's League, so... You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't even say anything negative. They're holding their own. But that being said, they do have 10, 10, 10 links left, so just keep that in mind. Drago. Let's go for Drago once again. Uh, who do I want to send his way? I think I sent your uh, your Weechi his way last time. Um, let's do it again. Uh, yeah. Make sure that the score times two is up. Oh, you know I should start doing. I need to start using all the boosts. I, like everyone complains that I don't use all the boosts, but at the same time, it's like, eh. Alright, so Orihime versus Koga, that's not good. Alright. But uh, we ended up uh, 
managing to eke that out that W in the end anyway, so that's good. Alright, moving on, moving on, moving on. Yeah, so Soivon seems to be taking care of a lot of the Arankars, like, relatively easily, especially, even your especially Yoruichi as well. Like, I can't even imagine Yoruichi with a freaking uh, Gold Chappy. That, that actually sounds like it would be insane. Sponsor, let's go against Sponsor. Hmm. What the hell do I send against that, though? Nah, you know what? We're a strong attack team. We can't, we can't be dealing with these blue candies all the time. Especially, like, when we know that it's a blue candy, that's when we avoid it. Alright. Let's go against this guy. Now, we had trouble with Chidori, so if he gets double times again, I'll have to try switching up the, uh, the team that I used the second time for uh, Kuna. Alright, you're Uichi versus Shunsui. Oh, this is the guy with the taxi Michigo. Ooh, shunts me putting in the business though. Damn. <laughs> that poor Soifon, she was not ready for that. Damn, I hear, the, I hear the birds waking up, man. What time is it? 6.43? Jeez. Alright, Draga, let's go against you again. Uh, let's send Orihime toward, to you this time. But let's do Orihime versus the Salaporo and see how that goes. If I remember correctly, you have a very tanky team with Koga on the top line and Noitora on the bottom. Um, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, I, I don't even know. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass? Okay, no, I'm not. Good. Alright, so maybe Orihime can actually clip your Noitora. That would be great. Boom! No, I don't know if that worked, but whatever. Noitora's down. Salaporo's down. Our team is pretty much at full health. And Koga is does not have, Koga does not have poise, so even with DR, he's surviving, but he's probably dying. Well, well, he's obviously dying. <laughs> All right. That must be a VP team is putting through this though. I'm actually liking this. Ooh, nice! A Notora lead with double time, double uh, double score. Excellent. All right. Let's see what the hell's up here. Ooh, Sajin and Kenpachi. I feel like I fought this team before. I don't know. All right, there goes Noitora. Kenpachi's down two, and there goes Sajin. Nice. Excellent, 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 excellent. All right, but, uh, yeah, you know what? Like, I feel like this video has gone on long enough, and I guess I will cut it after this uh, one last uh, PvP wreckage. All right, trick or treat. Oh, right, I forgot that there's a trick or treat freaking uh, team effect. That's oh man, that's cute. I wonder what the I didn't, I didn't get a chance to look at the stats, but I'm pretty sure it's like useless anyways. Most of these team effects are just for flavor, to be honest. Um, let's go after Kuna one last time. Yeah, there you are, Kuna. Let's do this. We're gonna go full boosters. Against just full bring Ichigo. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully Yoruichi can actually take down his Sajin. Damn, yo, yo, yo Soifon with them leggings though. Mmm. Looking like a snack. I'm glad that they actually made her look like a woman this time around. That helps. It's nice. <laughs> Alright, Orihime versus Kenpachi interrupting again. Jeez, man. Yo, what the hell is on your PvP team, bro? Like, what? what is this? Jeez, man. I, like, I was hoping it was just RNG the first two times, but nah. No, no, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, that's the PvP team. Let's see. Let's do that. That. Go back. And we will leave the video there. This is the Halloween team with all the brand new characters. They're not bad at all, they're, they're really not. But uh, I will leave the video there. Y'all know what it is, guys. Grind on, catch me up, hit me up, stay blessed. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah. As usual, if you guys are interested in discounted orbs, all the information is inside my Discord. Feel free to join. Pretty much like if y'all want to chill and whatnot, 
we're a pretty chill group. Uh, we help with raids, uh, extreme co-op, inheritance, all pretty much all you need, especially if you're a newer player and need help with like raids and whatnot. But yeah, if you guys are interested in discounted orbs, all the information is in the Discord from the procedure and how it works and how everything goes down and whatnot. Feel free to inquire within. And uh, yeah, I guess I will leave it at that. Stay blessed, y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.